Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Tech Support, and today I'm going to show you how to do an install on your PC using uh, our DOS Sublimation systems, the Ricoh GX 3300, 5050, and 7000. The only difference between the three in the insta installation process would be the ICC profile. Make sure you email support at condi.com to receive your profile for your DOS Sublimation printer once you receive it. You will not be able to get it from our PartnerNet webpage, only through email. So um, let's get started. What we're going to do first is download the driver. Um, and while I go to the web page to download the driver, I'm going to tell you a little bit how to or what to expect when you get your box. Um, what you're going to get is a box, no CD, you're going to get your sublimation inks. Make sure you install the sublimation inks and not the original inks should you have them. You're going to get a duplex unit which goes in the back of your printer. Um, if you receive a bypass tray, make sure you connect the bypass tray. So having gone to condi.com, I've clicked on support, now I'm going to click on login. That's going to take me to where I have a username and password entry. If you're not registered for PartnerNet, make sure you get with your account manager and get registered for PartnerNet. Um, PartnerNet includes all the support documents, uh, some profiles, uh, templates, uh, all the information, drivers, anything you need to help you run your sublimation system successfully. So I'm going to click Login. Um, getting back to the printer uh, install, Make sure you load your inks on the printer, plug it up to the to the outlet on your wall, and then turn it on. Do not plug up the USB cable. The USB cable, you will plug it up as we install the driver. I'll show you when to do that. So uh, once the inks are in, the panels are shut, and everything's correctly assembled, it'll start the charge. The inks will charge, and then the printer will get to a ready state. We're going to go ahead and from this web page, we're going to download our drivers, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Once you've logged into PartnerNet, you can click to go on to the support members area. Here, you're going to click on the RICO support page. How do you know which driver to pull? Uh, you have a PC for one, because we're doing the PC video. Now we want to go down to the start panel, right click on my computer, left click on properties, and from here, you're going to be able to see that your um, Windows operating system, mine's a Windows 7 Professional and a 32-bit. It's going to be 32 or 64, so make sure you know which one you have. So I'm going to scroll down and find my GX3300 for 32-bit. And that says 32-bit ICC profile. ICC profile only means that we're not using a power driver. So left click one time, takes you to the download page. Left click on the link and you can start to save the file. And I'm going to click save. I've already saved mine, but I do want to show you how to maneuver through the Condi web pages support to get your file. So to save a little time, I have saved uh, the driver already and I've already downloaded my ICC profile. I've created a folder on my desktop to com to combine. I'm sorry, to combine the files so that they're um, secured into one little area. So I'm going to double click on that folder. So I've contained uh, in this folder my driver and my ICC profile. First thing I want to do is install my ICC profile. How I'm going to do that? One of two ways. The easiest way is to right click on the file, left click on install profile. The other way, should you not see an install option if you right click on it, is to copy the file. So you right click and then copy. And then left click on your start. Left click on um, computer. Double click uh, on C drive. Double click on Windows. Double click on System32. Double click on Spool. Double click on Drivers double click on color and then right click and paste. I've already got the 3300 installed so I'm just going to click cancel here. But that's the second way you can install your ICC profile. Now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to install my driver. 
So this is my GX3300 Win 2K XP Vista 7 32-bit driver. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to click Run. And it's uh, with Windows 7. Uh, it's asking me if I want it to make changes. I'm going to say yes. Do I accept the license agreement? I'm going to say yes. And it's asking me how I'm going to connect my um, printer. And I'm going to connect using a USB, but I'm not going to connect the USB at this time. It's asking me to turn my printer off. So uh, my printer is turned off, and if you haven't turned yours off, you just hold the button, the power button, for three seconds, and it'll go off. And now it's going to download my driver. Now it's asking me to plug up my USB cable. I'll do that at this time. Make sure you plug up your USB, your USB cable to the back ports on your tower. Uh, also, uh, I recommend that you don't use the front ports as they are not as stable as the back ports will be. So um, make sure you plug up your USB cable. Just uh, It's in the back. If you're looking at the back of your printer, it's going to be at the back on the right hand, actually on the left hand side if you're looking straight into the back of the printer. And mine was a little difficult, but I've got it in there. Now uh, I'm ready to turn the power back on. And so I hold my power button for just a second or two, and it'll start powering up. And now we wait. It's going to give us some information about what's happening. And um, nothing to do here but wait. It's going to come up and ask me if I want to default my printer. And that's how I know that it's ready to go to the next step. And I'm going to click No. And now I have the status monitor where the defaults are all we want to do here. Nothing to change but click Next. And that's going to tell me that I'm finished. I'm going to click Finish. I'm going to close this folder in the background. And now I'm ready to go to my printer folder. Where I'm going to click left click on my Start panel, go to Devices and Printers, and I'm going to see my GX3300 here. I'm going to right click. And with Windows 7 people, you're going to go to Printer Properties. All other operating systems, XP, Vista, 2000, you're just going to click Properties. I'm going to go uh, left click on Color Management, left click again on Color Management, XP people, you won't have that second Color Management icon. Um, here I'm going to have Device, I'm going to choose my device, and we all know uh, we're using the demonstration of the GX3300, but 7000 GX5050 people, again, it's going to be the same process. Check the box, use my settings for this device. Profile selection is manual. And now I'm ready to add my ICC profile. I'm going to scroll down and find my GX3300 Ditrans high quality profile. Left click one time. Left click on OK. And left click to highlight the profile. Left click on set as default profile and close this part of the properties. Um, now we're back at the properties dialog box. I'm just going to minimize this background. And we're going to left click on advanced. We're going to left click on start printing after last page is spooled. That's going to help our quality. Left click on general tab. Preferences down at the bottom. Left click. Now I have a new dialog box for my printing preferences and I'm ready to set up my paper type. It's going to be inkjet plain paper. Go down to user settings, left click, left click change. I'm going to change, uh, check this box that says use air diffusion. I'm going to go over to color settings, change my color profile to off. Go up to the top tabs, left click on miscellaneous, print as bitmap, check that box. That's going to help with our quality issues too. We're going to click OK to the change box. That's going to close the change box. We're going to be back on the setup tab. And we're going to left click on printer configuration. Here I want to deselect my reduce automatically to fit letter. 
and if you have 64-bit uh, PC you're not going to see spool format here but 32-bit people uh, you're going to see it and you want to click RAW. Custom paper sizes. To create a custom paper size for you folks who have the bypass tray you're going to click that here. You're going to have 10 custom paper size options. So make sure you click on one that um, is is not already assigned. So to choose your paper source tray you're going to click bypass tray and here you're going to choose you're going to enter in your long edge and your short edge and then you would click OK. That's how you save a custom paper size. I'm going to, I'm going to click cancel but I did want to show you how to do that. So now we want to go back to the setup tab where we're going to save our setting. I'm going to call this Condi and ICC. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply and then I'm going to click OK. Click Apply and then OK. And that's how we configure the driver for Recode Dye Sublimation Systems GX3300, the GX5050, and the GX7000. If you want to know how to um, configure your your applications, your software, meaning your digital imaging software applications, make sure you, you tune into the Condi TV webpage uh, on condi.com and then over to the left, if you scroll down, you'll find Condi TV. And uh, once you choose Condi TV, you can very easily maneuver to a, um, I'll just show you real quick, Condi TV right here. And then in this blank right here you can find your color management settings for your applications again this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support if you have any questions on this procedure feel free to contact us at 1-800-826-6332 anyone on our support staff should be able to help you again thank you for your time